And is it going? It's going. All right. Okay. So I would like to inform you I'm the proud owner of not one, but two. Because that's all the chinkies would sell me of an adapter for my microphone so that it fits on my microphone stand. So that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. I have an adapt. Hang on. That awkward moment where you're not sure of... Is that piano music coming from headphones or speaker? It's coming from the speakers. So let's just go to headphones. There we go. So yeah, what, what's, what's this all about, this this thing? Um, great. Well, I have um, headphones, which is nice. No, that's it. I've got a microphone stand. So I don't have to lean over to speak to the microphone. So we'll go a private test. And I can barely hear myself over the stuff, but that doesn't matter. And we're not going for the Cura, we'll go for the Ford Escort. Because I know how it drives. I want the racing spec one though. So I know there's no anti-lock brakes, no traction control. And I've been drinking, specifically, saint foulion Grand Cru. So, uh, this should be fun. Is it, any of you familiar with the show called Matthew Kelly Stars in the Rise, hosted by Matthew Kelly? It's where these people would go onto this show. It was host. It was on ITV, and uh, they'd go, "Well, tonight, Matthew, I'd like to be Michael Jackson." And it's like, "What's your name?" "Hello, I'm, my name's Clive, and I'm a chartered accountant from Kettering." <laughs> I'm not sure why Kettering, but there you go. So, what do you? Well. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Tom Jones. If I ever had a chance to go on um, uh, Stars in Our Eyes, I'd be like, well, tonight, Matthew Kelly, I'd like to drive a lap of uh, Le Mans Circuit de Spa when drunk in a Ford Escort. Oh, hang on, I need to get in gear. Oh dear, flappy paddles work. I still haven't adjusted my pedals. Well, hey, there's the lack of traction control coming in. So my idea of this is I'm going to do one lap. So this lap doesn't count, so it's the warm-up lap, as my engine's not yet to temperature. You know, I just realised, in addition to the flappy paddles, I got a gearbox, so if I was to choose a gear and then push down on the clutch, that would work like a pre-selector in a, in a bus. Ah, fancy that. Hopefully, the engine doesn't suffer a blowout because um, I'm redlining it. Please don't blow out engine. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, I think I failed my hazard perception there. Fuck off. Lack of traction control, no anti-lock brakes, and I was really pushing hard on the brake then.
Please don't blow up. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta get used to pumping the brakes. <laughs> oh jeez. You can tell I'm not used to uh, normal, non-anti-lock brakes. Check out that intentional drift. <laughs> oh. Gaunt. I'm pretty sure that's not related, but my jumper says Gaunt on it. That was bought in Belgium. RTL. Is Sacri de Spa in Belgium or France? I should know this. Ah, oh, no wait, Spa's Belgium, and then it's, um, Le Mans is in Le Mans in France. Oh, I don't have a fifth gear. Whoopsie. Nice spin out. <laughs> oh boy, am I drunk. Oh, the joys of uh, rear, rear, rear wheel drive. Don't care. Oh, your lap times won't be validated. This would this race does not conform to the world racing body's rules. What? You're telling me a professional race driver can't have a drink before he races? Why ever not? Oh no, you cut a corner. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, this is the lap. It's got to be serious now. Got to concentrate. Don't lock the brakes, for fuck's sake. I've noticed the microphone stand is uh, wobbling when I do some steering and I'm hoping it doesn't translate to bumps and crackles in the recording. I'll have to listen later and then cringe at my driving performance. Oh god, I know this is not going to be good. Um, but I don't know if it's just me, but there's two phrases you can use for fuck's sake and then you can use the other one but that takes the Lord's name in vain, which I don't want to do. So I think, for fuck's sake, it's actually more polite. Yeah, think on that one. I hope you are. Think on it, I'm trying to be polite here. And let's break, no, gently, gentle, gentle, gentle braking, I'm not gonna spin out. Block change into two, very economical. I'm trying to stay on the road now, not go as fast as possible. See, that's where local knowledge helps. I thought I was doing Le Mans. It's like, no, you're not. Am I doing Le Mans or am I doing Circuit de Spa? I, do you know, I'm, I, I'm not sure why I get the two mixed up. I should be able to recognise them, but... I think they're both actual road courses with race segments on them. Don't lock the brakes. I 
and try not to change gears when cornering because with the clutch and the rear wheel drive that makes it really hard to avoid a spin out. See if I, if I say this out loud it might sink in you see. So that's why I'm doing it. It's not for your benefit, it is actually for my benefit. There's this thing about repetition where apparently it helps with learning. So if you repeat something over and over, you're like, don't lock the brakes, pump them gently, or just, and then not pump them gently. <laughs> this is a tight one, said the nun to the vicar. Three minutes, 14 seconds, and I've still not done the lap. It's not going to be the world record for a lap around. I'm really embarrassed. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is Equi de Spa or Limans. Because I can't remember. It's like one of them has this really long bit, which has got some um, roadblocks in it, so you have to go twisty-turny for some reason. Probably to avoid engines blowing out, because if you had a three-mile straight, then... Uh, yeah, because as it is, I'm going right, I'm, I'm, the top speed on this is apparently 137 miles an hour, and I think I was at 137. I don't know, you saw it, I wasn't looking at the numbers. Mind you, I will be watching this once I do it. Oh, let's go, uh, oh no, my gearbox is getting loose. No, it is, <laughs> I need to screw it back onto the desk. Oh dear. I just have to be gentle with my gear shifts. Don't lock the brakes. You've just locked the brakes. And that's how we come off. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You know what? Alcohol is not a performance enhancing drug. But that's what she said. Hey! Oh, we are having fun. It's certainly more fun than Brands Hatch. That's a difficult race course. Very uh, technical. Come on, let's just limp into the finishing line. Don't lock the brakes. Oh, for fuck. And then I did two things wrong there. I changed gear into first. Bit of a mistake. I think if I had done this properly, I could probably get less than five minutes. And then... I changed on the corner and I block changed from fourth to first. Oopsie doopsies. Right. Six minutes lap. Uh, that's bad, isn't it? Um, Circuit de Le Mans. Okay. I got confused when I saw Gant and RTL. I thought, were well, those are Belgium companies? Is this Circuit de Spa? So, no. Exit. Yes, I wish to quit the session. Now, let me just adjust the gearbox. Well, it's not really a gearbox, is it? It's, it's, it's a gear shift joystick. But, um... 24 heures de Le Mans. Now, I'm pretty sure this... I mean, if it's got Laguna Seca, it will have Circuit de Spa. So, um, let's just go down. Mojave. Serving in the Mojave makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Brr. Oh, and the ice circuit with a Ford Escort. That would be a laugh riot. Um, oh, we've got Silverstone. Yeah, it's got... There it is. Spa, Francochamps. And there's the historic one, which is... See, it's got a long, long sort of straight section. It's um, is It sort of goes between these three villages. Spa, and then I forget the name of the other ones. But anyway. We want... 
or I should say I want, for this is my show, uh, Le Mans, which is what we're doing. Yep, select. And instead of the Ford Escort, we're going to go for um, Honda with the NXX, NSX. And let's see if we can get into ninth gear on the straight, shall we? So we'll go start. And again, warm up lap, then the actual lap. And now the alcohol's a chance to get into my system. Well, woo, hey, uh, we shall see, shall we? Yes, we shall. But if I can get less than five minutes on this, I'll be happy. And the world record is four minutes, 14 seconds. Well, I'm not going to beat K. Sandra. Well, I'm not controlling anything, it's all autopilot. I'm going to try and avoid that leave in the pit lane early uh, warning this time. All right, lean back. No, lean forward. Warning for unsafe crossing a pit exit lane. Oh, bugger, I still got it. Shit. Um, I don't think that was a correct pit exit. No, it was not. Right, first gear. Line up with the track. Don't change gear. And don't go too fast. Oh look, it's draining the battery, so it must have an electric engine as well. There's the barrier. Good anti-lock brakes. Good job. That's wide. I think Honda should be very proud of this car. Was it Ayrton Senna that helped design the original in the NSX? I know Rowan Atkinson bought one. I feel a lot more confident in this car than I do the Escort. I mean, I would have completely spun off if I put brakes down that hard with the Escort. But growing up as a kid, I always wanted a Ford Escort. So, you know, it's, um, at least through Simulacrum, I get to fulfill a boyhood dream. Oh.
Don't let your dreams become dreams. And don't forget that really tight corner's coming up. Oh dear. Alright. Lock, lock, lock. Let's try and not do that in the real lap. Oh, bollocks to it. Everyone's cut that corner. I do like the hissing of uh, what I assume is forced induction. What I don't like is my inability to anticipate, oh yeah, that corner's coming up, that's a tight corner, maybe I should break harder. <laughs> Hiss. Well, I hope this is as entertaining for you as it is for me. Here comes that bit. Good. Was well, trying to go too fast. I'm trying to concentrate, so I can't really say anything funny. Sorry.
come on, come on, come on. Five minute lap, five minute lap. Four minutes, 49 seconds. Wow. I am very pleased with that. Four minutes, 49 seconds. That makes me... I wish I had a handbrake. I just pressed on the foot. So, world record, 4 minute 14 seconds. 49 seconds. So that's 20. That there is 3. 23 plus the 9 is uh, 32 seconds away from the world record for my first attempt. And consider. Why is my tire pressure going up considering I'm not. I don't understand that. Don't, I don't understand. Anyway, I'm drunk. I'm not a very good racer. But 33 seconds from the world record, my first attempt. How's about that then? I think that's a result. Right. Suck them. Drink and drive. It helps. <laughs> no, don't drink and drive. I don't want to get done for encouraging bad behavior. Um, yeah, stop recording.